continued part two. So as I was saying, that is the true peace. Our liberty is in the kingdom of the good news of truth that we share with others from the Holy Word, from the majesty of the throne of the Most High, right? His all-knowing Holy Spirit truth that moves through our vessel, keeps our temples clean, cleanses our spirit and our soul, and, and keeps us here on earth. We're having a earthly experience as spiritual beings, as spiritual Holy Spirit-filled light beings here on earth. So once this has all, see, a couple years ago, I remember talking about the 144,000, trying to describe, let's rise up, let's do this. Even last year, rise. Now it's happening. So our body has caught up to the light of Christ. And then our minds have transformed and renewed of love and light and heart and, and, and joy, right? And abundance and prosperousness of what we share. The ministry of truth, of, of, of like what we were created to do, what we're here for, right? So light being. So what that does as light workers, it causes everything to move in an advancement in truth. And that's how the chosen ones are becoming connected and collected together as a remnant. So there's the 144,000. There is the chosen ones, the light workers, the elected heavenly callings um, on prophets and, and the remnant, like it all goes together. It, it describes in Revelation different various parts and groups, a great crowd and numerous ones and, and the warriors of Christ that kill demons and everything else. Okay. These last days. So yes, these last days. Yes. These last days, new heaven, new earth when, when Yahusha reigns. So even though he's raining now, I'm saying where it's, it's, everybody knows that's what's going to happen, period. What I know, it doesn't matter, period. Whatever anybody goes against, it's not going to happen. But there'll be a short time, see, because the enemy, Satan's going to be loose. He's going to be loose again after he's been bound up and he's going to be loose. And those that were kind of lukewarm, kind of like, okay, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do exactly, who to follow. I'm a little questionable. They're going to have to make that final choice. And then forever and ever we serve and, and we love with the king forever and ever. We love each other. Love, our heart, peace, peace of mind, our spirits cleanse, not wanting to sin. That is what the darkness hates. That's why the narcissism, that is why the narcissistic tendencies, why it's so apparent now, because wearing the mask covers up the light dwelling within you. That's why I usually let my nose hang out if I can. So, because I want to smell that peace. I want to smell the peace. Where's the peace out there? Bring it to me. Let me smell the food that's peaceful. Peaceful tidings, eating together, enjoying an abundance of peace. See, abundance is not just, it's not just finances. It's abundance. It's abundance in scripture and Holy Spirit. Abundance in, in the scripture, filling our hearts with gladness, with joy. Peace dwellers, you know, um, truth the truth sets us free and that makes us prosperous because even if we tell the truth and some employer or someone doesn't like it the truth is the most high creates in us yahoo creates in, in in humans how to write books and write articles and have reviews and eat food and test it and tell the truth about it or to make food without poisoning it or gmos or you know poetry that's beauty in real natural form and and love and and hearts and drawing and being an artist and and being able to create um universities online and and um classes and courses all of that spices and making like skincare products with your name all these different things that we do is creative because we're not a god know some people say we are in the image of my image I don't care about my human image I care about my light image my light image we're gonna talk about that my light image shines like the whiteness there it's it's the image of Christ in us we walk toward Holy Spirit we see that sunshine beauty and glory of the nature outside we walk in his glorious light we walk in his glorious light my hair is still kind of trying to even out 
So every once in a while I get a piece of hair. I don't like it in my vehicle. Um, so that's why Psalms 123 where it says, Prayer for relief from contempt. A song of accents again. Ascents. So ascension. This ascension is of heavenly light. It's not ascension levitating. Yes, we probably have all experienced. I went through it myself at a chiropractor with incense and everything because I used to, you know, incense queen it was. Um, I like white candles, all that. But some incense is just brings demons around. It brings witchcraft. It brings sorcery. It brings the lighter, I would say, the, the, the easier going spirits we don't want around. We don't want that around. But those that are saying they're going through ascension and stuff is because their minds are trying to level out and balance out between wickedness, lukewarmness, witchcraft, and then the peace of the Most High. So they're trying to come from go from lukewarm, which you've come from wickedness, into the light of Christ and the truth, the real heavenly truth, right? So you have to understand it takes time for them to find that majestic throne of Yahuwah. Take some time to find his Holy Spirit. And that's why they called it Wizard of Oz in the movie, because of the way the Holy Spirit and colors of the rainbow are. If you've went through that, you've went through the transformation of your body. Get into that at some point. Hopefully before I leave YouTube, because if I don't, it won't be said. I've said it a few times, but this is just probably a little different and maybe um, give you more clarity every once in a while. Psalms 123 says, unto you I lift up my eyes. O oh, you who dwell in the heavens, behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hands of their masters. We don't call someone a master. I know they say master chi, um, master of um, kung fu and everything, but that's martial arts. It's just the meditation of your mind, being able to clear your mind out for advancement of truth in the throne of the Most High. That's what it means by meditation, elevation, in truth and righteousness, light, real light of the mind, not this knowledge. I want wisdom. A lot of people want to fill their minds and hearts up with knowledge. I want to fill my heart up with wisdom. I receive knowledge through being lukewarm. Man's knowledge, book knowledge, everything knowledge, even the holy word and knowledge. But wisdom was what I performed in my life. My lifestyle changed. My choices, my decision, clarity. Wisdom is discernment to dis. CERN. We don't want to be like CERN and go fast and speed in the matrix. We want to dis the CERN darkness and ment, meditate upon the compart compartments the Most High puts in our brains in each place to perform in our life a proper lifestyle full of light and love and joy, not sin, have clarity and not perverseness. Verse 3. Uh, okay, wait, sorry. So it says in verse two, the latter part. So as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord, our Yahuwah. So it looks to the most high through walking our vessels as Christ. Cause it's the Christ part that the crossing over the light from the darkness gives us that understanding in Yahuwah. And therefore we follow the mercy seat. We go up to the mercy seat with our prayers. We ask for forgiveness, right? We ask for repentance. Let me slow my heart rate down. I get excited sometimes when I really get into this understand. Have mercy on us, O Yahuwah. Have mercy on us. Lift up your hands. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm in the wrong scripture. Go back to Psalms 123, verse 3. The ending, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt because they want us to have war in ourselves. You know, five years ago, I would have thought it was just a black and white thing. I would have thought it was just a Hebrew and Esau thing. I would have thought it was just an Esau and Jacob thing. I would have thought it was just religious versus spirituality. I would have thought it was just light versus darkness. It's light versus darkness, but it's light versus darkness in a contempt world where we shine light on. Our souls is exceedingly filled. Verse four, my video is about to stop. So this will be the last of part two. With the scorn of those who are at ease, with the contempt of the proud. The prideful are very contemptuous. They like to put us into contempt. They want to put our heart into contempt, which is full of love, glory, light, beautiful red, pinks, purple, yellow, green. But they want to give us a contempt in our heart to make us feel guilt.